So kind of normal Sabine fishing this week. You know, you can get a few bites. It's not real easy, but uh, a lot of them are not keepers. So hopefully today, everything we set the hook on is keepers and we can, you know, the big bites be them two pounders. Whereas if you, sometimes you get in a little area here where the bites you're catching are 10 inches and then the bigger bites are like 13 inches. So hopefully we found an area where the bites are like 13 inches and the big ones are good ones. So we catch three or four of them a day, we'll be all right. So we're around some fish, you know, gonna, gonna be fishing around some. Don't know if the potential's there for like a great big bag, but potential is definitely there to make a check and stuff like that. So just gotta put one good one in the boat each day to probably be in that check range and you know, Starts, stuff starts going well, you catch three or four of those good ones a day, you'll do a lot better than that. So, you know, just kind of haven't leaned on them much. Kind of curious to see what kind of weights, you know, you can actually get if you set the hook a bunch. So, hopefully we set the hook a bunch. Stand up. <laughs> you have huh. to, I'm going to ask them if they can guess what's wrong with you this morning. And what we have to change. Or we don't have to. If you don't want to. Well, if I didn't, and then I didn't catch them at all, I'd be mad. Okay, um, just look at Kyle's appearance. Let's just do a... What do you think could be wrong? He's leaving me. Leave me, leave me. Just leave me, leave me. Look at this man. He gets on my nerves, y'all. Lift bar of now. Chase on. Those things are beautiful. I literally seen a video on YouTube the other day of you, and it, it was from like 2017 or something that the Jays on. They probably look good then. And now they all dirty, nasty, busted up. Don't talk about them like that. But I love them. I think I have one or two more. Dude, I, got, I was under a bridge. Power pole down. Just waiting. I've been under there for 20 minutes. I picked that little chatterbait up and I was just like looking at it in the water. 13 the inches. Water it was the fattest one I've caught room. all week. But it came out from, I mean, under the, the boat. So we can but I mean, I've been there 20 minutes. minutes. I noticed that we are six day. minutes Me away from Kiki House Style. We were talking and going out there there. We were both fishing. And I kept shining my boat to his. And I said, Carl, I said, they're following your boat. The Elite Series and we would go Orange, slow Texas. like that, and they would just swim we right out of the boat. Five minutes away from Kiki House. Because there's nothing else in the water. It's the only shade here. Yeah. I'm like, he said, I said, dude, we went for 200 yards. And there stayed five or six fish on it. He could speed up, slow down, and catch back up. I'm like, dude, you think they ain't heard the cover? Quarter pounder in Lake Sabinal River. Would you please let him find my hook? And dear baby Jesus, don't let him nibble it. Let him inhale it. Let my line be strong and my heart be calm. For I have caught the biggest bass in the water. Let him Amen. Be. Amen. Amen. And then we'll bless him. <laughs> Official, official, official time, 5.55, just about luck, ready to get going. Thank you, you too, you know. I'd like to welcome Gerald Swindle with her invocation. Would everyone please rise and bow your heads and remove your hat. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the beautiful day you've given us before us. Watching the sun come up reminds us of your power and how blessed we are as individuals to pursue bass, chase fish all over the country, and make our living. Lord, bless our families as we away. Keep them safe from harm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
keep making from. some more poker videos. I need to, don't I? You do. I ain't played about six months. Keep making good videos. My wife and I love y'all. Hey, poker, he's fishing too much. <laughs> Two minutes until we officially kick off stop six of 2023. The Folds of Honor Bassmaster Elite at the Sabine River in beautiful Orange, Texas. Floating dock. One good one. That's all we need. Four, three, two, one. Let's officially kick off stop six of 2023. The Folds of Honor
He looked like a good one out there at first. Many coals, eh? Maybe like a 130. I can't help it. Here. You don't have real long legs. I kept calling little ones good ones today. You got a sack? A nine. Nine? Good. I went and fished my strengths in the only area where I had any keeper bites at all in practice. And I just stayed in there for like seven hours and just back and forth, same stretches, new water, and it worked out. Now, that was that is literally that was literally like the most Vegas thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That's what I did. That was <laughs> <laughs> like don't that's like that's like the actual fisherman response. Like don't give nothing away for real. Like he said, I fished my strengths for seven hours back. Like he didn't say nothing. I was on the water and I was fishing. I was on the water fishing. <laughs> Come on now, Kyle. Give us one secret. There ain't no secrets here. You just gotta cover water. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Kyle Welcher with five fish here today, a great season he's having. Is in that progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. It looks like a good day here today. Five fish, nine pounds, six ounces. He moves into fourth place. And Stone Cold Kyle Welcher continues to punish the progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leaderboard. 2023 working out very good for you, Kyle. And man, this one's one where people say, hey, I got to survive. And you definitely survived today. Yeah, you know, all, all you need here really is one fish to cooperate, like one three pound bite. And there's actually a lot of them in here. Just kind of takes you from like middle of the pack to way up there. So, I mean, it's been a great 2023. A lot of that's the schedule. We've had a lot of these kind of tournaments where it's just grinders and the sun's beating down on you. And those are the ones I like. So I'm looking forward to hopefully three more days, but definitely one more. Well, the sun's going to beat down on you tomorrow, so we look forward to seeing how it works out. Hey, right. so um, is this your first time competing in this event? No, I fished here two years ago. So, I, you want me to just go into it? Yeah, like what brought just, you just back? Answer the question. Like, you know. Okay, so the cool thing about the Sabine, and the reason that it's always such a good tournament for us, is there's so many variables here. And like, this is a great tournament to follow as far as storylines, because there's long runs, people fishing close, just a lot of variables at this place. 
yeah, what are, what's one of your favorite parts about, you know, competing in this and I guess trying to outdo yourself every time you fish? So that, that's the whole thing about trying to be at the top level of anything is you just want to improve every single day. You know, you can't really judge yourself on the other competitors or one tournament. As long as you get better every single day and every single year, that's the only real goal to, you know, try to stay at the top level. How do you feel like you've been doing? So I've, I've had two really good years, and then last year was about bad year, then this year I feel like we've got it back on track a little bit, and stuff's kind of going our way, and we're at places that kind of fit my strengths like the Sabine River, so I kind of, this year's going a little smooth.